Hello makers and welcome back to the studio. It's another beautiful summer day here and I'm going to take advantage of it by doing a little bit of work outside the studio. And uh, we're going to be working on our easel project again this week. Now if you're not familiar with the easel project or you've missed the earlier videos, I will put the links in the description below so you can take a peek at those. But basically what we're doing is we're building a brand new artistic easel using uh, relatively inexpensive parts. We're doing this all on the cheap and I'm going to show you today how we can take our frame, the frame we're going to wrap our canvas in and bring it to the next level. So let's, uh, let's take a look at what we're talking about today. Now as you may recall last week we focused on creating the frame that is going to be holding our canvas and this frame is mounted currently on the easel that we created two weeks ago and the advantage of this easel is that it allows us very easily with this sliding board in the front to be able to adjust our frame up and down and make it easier for us when we're painting a project to be able to reach different parts of the canvas without getting on our knees or sitting on the floor etc. Now what I want to focus on today is the construction of the frame itself and I want to talk about how we're going to enhance this frame a little bit today to make it really useful for what we need to do. So let's take a look at that now. Now when the frame is taken off of the easel, and by the way these frames can be different sizes. The one we have on the table right now here is 3 feet by 4 feet long. And you can adjust the size of the frame to be anything you want. Over here I have another frame which is my 5 foot by 5 foot frame and it works fine. I do want to point out a couple of things about these frames. First of all, the larger they get you are going to need to have some sort of crossbar just to support it. And if you can see in here what we've simply done is I've come and I've taken this thing and I've just tied it in. I glued it in and stapled it in the corners there just to give it a little bit more stability. Same thing down here. And it just makes it a lot easier for when we wrap canvas around this whole thing for it not to warp. That's what we, we don't want that to happen. And with the smaller, relatively speaking, 3x4 is still fairly large as a painting, we also have a single cross piece that we can work with here. And again, as we covered last week, when we build this it's really just mitered 45 degree angles. We glue them together, we put some staples in there, mm -hmm. and it doesn't have to look great. No one is ever going to see the frame. Really what it's going to come down to is how we use the frame. Now in this instance, I'm looking at the front of the frame and we have here, as I mentioned, I have a beveled edge. I'll get down here so you can see it a little bit better. But the beveled edge just allows me when I wrap the canvas, the canvas is only really touching this ridge here and the rest of the time it's actually suspended over air, right? We don't want to have it mounted flush up against the wood if we, if we can help it because that means that that edge when we paint it we're going to see a hard line wherever the wood is behind the canvas. Not necessarily what we want to be able to do. Now I'm going to flip this guy over here. And one of the things we were talking about last week is we needed to find a way to mount this to the easel itself. So by putting in these, basically these screw mounts, right, allows us to take thumb bolts, and I'll show you what this looks like in just a moment. It allows us to set this up so now we have something to screw into from our easel and to hold this particular uh, frame in place. And I have one, of course, at either end, and you'll have to measure things out carefully to make sure that when you drill through your backing board on the easel, you're going into the right place. Now the other thing I want to point out with regard to this particular frame is if you look at the corners, we also have a few more of these mounts. And again, if you want to know how to put these mounts in, we talked about it in last week's video. It's really a simple matter of just drilling a hole, perhaps putting a little glue in there and just cranking these things down until they're flush with the wood. Now what are these guys for? Well, these are how we're actually going to end up mounting the canvas to this particular frame. Let me show you what that looks like now. Now as we're working at mounting things, we're using these thumb bolts. And a thumb bolt basically is just a plastic handle. In this case, it's on a threaded piece of a quarter inch uh, thread, right? It just allows us something and we can crank this in. And we push these longer ones through. These are about two and a half inches. And these can be pushed through the back of the easel so they will lock into our frame and allow us to tighten it down. Now what we want to do with these different corners here is we want to use this as a way to hold the canvas we're going to wrap around this frame into place. We're using a smaller thumb bolt. Now this thumb bolt here is about an inch and a half long on the threaded part and if you look very carefully you'll notice that at one point I pointed the ends. I sharpened the ends a little bit on this using, you can use a grinder if you have one or a flat file will work too. And it just makes it a lot easier. It's not required. It just takes a little more work to kind of screw things into place when you're working with the canvas. And I'll show you what happens. So what we're going to do here is we're going to wrap canvas around this frame 
And then we're gonna need to find a way to hold the canvas in place. And I have these wooden blocks, and these are made out of uh, half inch plywood here. You could certainly use something a little bit thinner if you wanted to go with quarter inch. I went with this, and it's, it's approximately two inches by four inches on a side. And what we can do here now is we just mount this over the hole, and then using our thumb bolt, we can screw in and we can crank down on that and we'll be able to create basically a pinch point so when the canvas is there, it won't come out. Now, if you've never worked with canvas before, let me talk to you a little bit about that now. Now, when you're creating your own canvas for painting, oftentimes it comes in a roll like this. Sometimes you can buy it by the yard, almost like you would if you were buying fabric in a fabric store, depending on what your needs are. Now, there are different gauges, if you will, of this canvas. Basically it means a thicker weave. Some are much thinner. This is kind of a medium. You can find some that are a little bit heavier. And again, sometimes it can be the outcome of the artwork you're trying to put onto it, how much paint you're using, etc. In this case, I have uh, the leftovers of a roll here. And what I want to be able to do is just get this off. It's going to be like a little bit like working with a bed sheet here. But this should be a, enough for me to wrap around my frame and we can get started. And I'm going to show you how we can use this and tighten it up and make this into a surface that we can do some painting on. Now what I've done in this instance is I've just taken my canvas and I've laid it down on the table that I'm using. It kind of looks a little bit like a tablecloth at this point. And what I want to do next is I want to grab my frame and I want to put the frame so that it's basically face down. So here we are. And what I want to be able to see, of course, is that the canvas is going to wrap around this different frame, but I want to have my mounts on the back where we can see it. Of course, make sure this is long enough. It should be just fine. So what I need to do now is I need to start to wrap this, almost like I were wrapping a present, by bringing the canvas up and over. And then I'm going to talk about using these different elements, right? We'll put these, these blocks into place, and we'll talk about how we can use this to crank things down. All right. I've been able to take the canvas and wrap it up over the sides, and just as a stroke of luck, the amount of canvas I had left on that roll was just perfect for what we're doing here. As you can see, we folded it over here, and what I want to do now is I want to make sure that once I have it folded and put into place here, it doesn't come undone. So I'm going to take one of my blocks here, and again, I'm generally starting and working this through to begin with. I have my thumb bolt going through the board, and I may back it off a little bit. What I need to do now is, feeling with my finger, I want to be able to feel where that screw mount is, and I want to make a connection. And again, one of the reasons that I pointed these is because it has to pierce this, uh, this canvas as it's going down through. It's much harder when it's a blunt end. You can do it after a little bit of work. But by coming in here and cranking down on this thing, what I'm doing is I'm now pushing the threaded elements into the mount, and it's getting a little tight there, and there we go. So now, this section of the canvas is kind of tight and in place. I'm going to do the same thing a little bit further down here. Again, it doesn't have to be perfect to begin with. We'll tighten this up as we go on. There we are. And our mount is right about here. So let's just make sure we're screwing in the right place, otherwise we waste a lot of time. There we go. Looks like I found that. Now over here on the other side, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take my canvas, I'm going to give it a tug, and it doesn't have to be too, too tight. I'm going to show you how we're going to tighten this up over time. I just want to make sure that when we get started here, it's going to be relatively easy to just have a, a nice even wrap. And again, I'm going to come in here, eyeball where that mount is, and let's see if I can get that bolt in the right place and crank that puppy down. All right, I'm going to give that, make sure that's fairly tight to begin with here. We can tighten it up over time. I'm going to ratchet down best I can. All right, so in this scenario now, the canvas has been wrapped tightly across the face of this. Now I'm going to do the same thing from top to bottom, and uh, it's just a matter of folding over my canvas. I'm not going to worry about the loose canvas I have on this side. I can trim it away later if that's an issue, but it probably won't be. And we're going to do the same kind of thing. I'm going to come in here, find where the, the mount is here. And again, let me just see if I can get that in the right place. There we go. All right. 
right, now let's take a look at our canvas, uh, now that we have it mounted. And, uh, and here it is. Now, it's still a little bit loose in there, you'll notice that. And during next week's video, we're gonna talk about how to tighten this up all the way so we have an amazing painting service. But for now, let's get it back on the easel and see what it looks like completed. Now once again, it doesn't look like an awful lot when we get it back on, but we do have our canvas wrapped around our frame, and that's such an important part of this. And what's gonna happen, of course, with this and the importance of this structure is that we're creating a reusable frame. All I need to be able to do is wrap canvas around it when I wanna paint something, and when I'm done with the painting, instead of having it already on its own frame, which has to be stored somewhere, and unless you live in a warehouse, and I don't, it's really hard to have a lot of framed paintings lying around the house. So in this scenario, what I can do now is I can use this three by four inch frame, uh, foot frame anytime I want to make a three by four foot painting. And when I'm done, I simply undo the blocks in the back, take the canvas off, roll it up, and I can store it that way. That way I can store it either flat or in rolls, and I can store lots and lots of my artwork until somebody comes along and buys it. Anyway, that is the plan. So next week, what we're going to look at is how do we get past this point here? We're gonna go back into the studio and we're gonna talk about how we're gonna lay down some gesso on our canvas. It will tighten everything up and it will also allow us to be able to have a foundation to start creating our amazing artwork. So hopefully you enjoyed this session. And again, it's kind of fun being outside for a little bit here, I'm not gonna lie, but it's good to be with you any week. And by the way, if you're enjoying what we're seeing here in this series, and you're not yet a subscriber, of course we encourage you to subscribe. Hit that button down below. And if you hit that like button, it really helps us with the algorithm at YouTube. They say, hey, people really like this guy's stuff. Let's show it to more people. I like that. Hopefully you will as well. Anyway, that's what I have for you this week. Thanks so much for stopping by. I'll see you next time.